Hello, it's the rest of the news Tuesday. Good morning, this is Dan Earhart. It's raining again, it's flooding down in Texas this first day of spring. It's been since 1896 that spring arrived this early, March the 20th, or last night the 19th it was, Pacific and Mountain Times. It's now autumn and coming on winter down under, or if you live on the equator, it doesn't matter. No matter how you slice it, today is Jimmy Vaughn's birthday. <laughs> There's a new page on Facebook that hopes to promote peace between Israel and Iran. It's called Israel Loves Iran. And Sunday, Iranians began responding by messaging back. This just goes right around both governments. Most posts from Iranians have a good portion of their faces covered to avoid arrest. With all the negative talk about timeline, it's nice to hear something about all the good that Facebook does. But with facial recognition software, are the Iranian Facebook posters with partially covered faces really safe from arrest? The eyes are left showing, and anonymity is not existent. That's a quaint relic of 1896. And this is 1984? In the same folder with yesterday's story about CIA Director David Petraeus boast that your dishwashing machine could spy on you is news of today's latest Samsung televisions. Plasmas and HDTVs that have cameras and microphones, and of course they're connected to the internet, so while you're watching them, that front-facing camera could be putting those little boxes around each viewer's face while you're sitting there on the couch syncing up with the audio from the microphone, and suddenly you're not alone anymore. It's enough to make you wonder, like about the camera on this laptop staring at me right now. Of course, the little green light's not on, but that's a software control, not a hardwired switch. You don't suppose some computer genius could access a web address and turn on the camera, but not the little green light, do you? No, they wouldn't do that at the National Security Agency. The program they've got is called Stellar Wind. It sifts through billions and billions of our emails and our phone calls collected from so-called wireless listening posts located throughout America. Stellar Wind sounds so peaceful, doesn't it? It's so big that the NSA is building a new billion and billion dollar Utah data center. It's in Utah to run that program, Stellar Wind, to intercept, decipher, analyze, and store the world's communications. That's it. That's all. It's in Utah. Well, at least they're not being secretive about it. They really will spy on you through your dishwasher. Maybe it's this kind of stuff that drives some people to go live in the outback, to become mountain men, maybe mountain women, off the grid, hunting, trapping, stealing from abandoned cabins like 44-year-old Troy James Knapp. To hear about this guy? Still as elusive as he's been for five years now in the mountains of southern Utah. And drives the rest of us to romanticize about their 1896-style freedoms while we live our 1984 realities. Ah, yes, but now back to that reality. Three million new iPads out the door in less than a week now. Maybe there's a glitch, though. Some users are saying it gets hot, too hot to hold in the lower left-hand corner with the iPad in upright portrait mode. One thermometer put it at 117 degrees after 10 minutes. One of those little things like antenna gate, battery gate, and now it's heat gate. The Atlantic Magazine has a story about urban hipsters like me who fantasize of life in a charming charming cabin at some out-of-the-way spot where Troy James Knapp won't find them, hopefully. In the clean wilderness, a heaven on earth where iPads don't overheat, people don't overeat, it's never 1984, and 1896 is just outside the door. Check out pictures at freecabinporn.com freecabinporn.com it's posted on the rest of the news facebook page and while you're there you could visit israel loves iran leave us both messages we like that signing off 
In the words of Peter Bergman, see you tomorrow. This is Dan Earhart, therestofthenews.com.